Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this quick little video I'm going to briefly talk about the importance of completely planning out your conceptual product images. For example, in this image here I wanted to photograph these hockey elbow guards in such a way that people understood that it was, well, a hockey elbow guard. So I had to think about how I was going to photograph that that pair of elbow guards um, even before I picked them up. But as soon as I saw them, I knew I had to do something that got across to the general public, even those who don't play hockey, that this is a hockey elbow guard. So first things first, I grabbed both of the guards, they come as a pair, and I photographed them in exactly the same way just I had to flip the lights around as I switched from left to right and then I did some simple cleanups uh, as you can see on the the black layer here you can see some of my retouching all this all this is retouching it's not a lot but it's necessary and then I took this one I did the same thing to the other one and I brought them into a new file all together and I brought in another image which helped support the whole story and what we have here is an actual x-ray of a dislocated elbow so that tells the story brings it all together makes it a simple um, story that people quickly understand so as soon as you see that you know that's an elbow oh those must be elbow guards so that tells my story and gets the, the idea across and hopefully that's a successful image for the retailer of this product, which is the whole point. The whole point of a product image is to, yeah, well, sell a product. And I did it in a conceptual way in a triptych. This is a triptych because it's three images that work together. Okay, triptych, uh, if it was two images, it'd be a diptych, obviously. In this case, it's three images, so that's uh, the way it's done. Um, so I'm going to keep con doing more images like this. They're kind of quick and simple. There's no script. I don't practice it. Nothing like that. And it's basically things I do to make my work um, complete. Stuff in Photoshop, stuff in shooting. And hopefully this is helpful for somebody. If you like it, subscribe, share it, hit the, hit the like button, that kind of stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. This is Mike Taylor at Mike Taylor Photo Arts. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.